everybody, welcome back to The Rocket Shop. I'm Bob Maddox, The Rocket Man, and this week we're building a jet go-kart using our twin Viper engine that we did in the last video. So normally I build all my uh, go-karts, so you'll see videos uh, coming up, uh, and it takes a week or two weeks sometimes to, to build the whole go-kart. But what we're doing today is going to be like a one-day build, because I bought this go-kart. Now this is like a Craigslist type go-kart, even though this is a little bit fancier than you need because it's got some you know, nice disc brakes and stuff like that on it, but you don't need that. Because we're building a go-kart that's going to go around 60, 65 miles an hour, so a three or four hundred dollar go-kart, maybe five hundred dollar uh, at the outside, you can get. And as you can see, this is everything that we're going to need right here to make this super cool jet go-kart that I'm going to probably put together in a day. So. Everything you can get on eBay or you can get on Amazon here now. So what we got here is a small propane bottle, it's just a one gallon. Now you can get that at your hardware store, you don't have to order that. And then uh, electric solenoid, also off of eBay. A couple of small 12 volt batteries. We use two of them because we're using 24 volts uh, so we get enough pressure out of our fuel pumps. They're 12 volt fuel pumps but I run them on 24 volts and I get twice the pressure out of them, about 120 PSI because the engine likes a really fine spray. We're running diesel in it. The uh, propane is just for starting. Push a button, the engine fires to life instantly. You don't need any starting air or anything like that. And then we have a speed control down here that controls our speed of our pumps. That gives us our throttle. Uh, a couple of switches, uh, 12 volt coil with a couple little things on it that I'll show you later that turn it into a spark box. A uh, little bit of hose, and that's all we need. So let's get going on this cool build. <laughs>
Okay, got our super cool Viper engine all mounted up. See the real simple motor mounts that I put in here? That's just welded actually right to the frame. And then I uh, just bolted it right there. That way it can be taken off. The lower motor mounts just bolt right onto the frame. As you can see, you can just unbolt that. And up on the engine, it actually slides off the engine too, so it's really easy to take off this engine, which is important when you're moving things around. So that didn't take very long, only an hour or so. Now we've got our super cool Viper engine all mounted up. Okay everyone, that's all the time I have for this episode, but make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on next week's video when I'm going to be finishing up the Twin Viper Cart. <laughs>